Hello everyone, I am Tiana Johnson and I will be talking about my series of paintings entitled 1438 11th Street. So this project was first inspired in the fall of 2018 when in painting class we were given the assignment entitled Interior. I don't remember exactly how it came about, but I asked if I could paint an interior from memory. And what I was thinking about painting at the time was the bedroom that I always slept in as a child when we stayed at my now late grandmother's house. So when I was thinking about doing this painting from memory, I really couldn't wrap my head around painting something without an in-person or a photograph reference. I'd never done that before. It was pretty overwhelming. So I wrote all of my ideas down, set them aside in my sketchbook, and I had moved on, did a bunch of other things. Fast forward to the summer of 2019, and I reapproached the idea of not only painting one room from my grandma's house, but all of the rooms. So the entire point of this project would be to document each one of these rooms for myself, because I really feel like over time these memories, they're fading, they're getting spotty, and I want to record them before I lose them. One of the issues with trying to paint these is I don't remember these rooms like a picture, like standing from one point. I remember them as a whole from being inside them and being in different places in them. So I don't have a clear, perfect, just still in my mind. So I finally realized that I didn't need to paint them exactly how the room was because I don't need to place each item exactly where it went because I can't remember anyways I, a lot of things I just remember that they were there not where or how big so I decided that since I didn't need to put them exactly where they went why couldn't they just all be in the exact same space what if I also used paint to help fog up these paintings just as my mind fogs up my memories so I made these two paintings that you can see they're both 12 by 12 inches and they these really made me feel like I was onto something. I painted them on squares initially because that's what I had in my house and I was experimenting. And then after the fact, I really liked the idea that I could make different size paintings for the same series and the ratio of the paintings would stay the same. And I wouldn't have like different shaped rectangles if I went with rectangle canvases. I got a bigger canvas and I painted this piece. And this also made me feel, okay, I'm onto something good here. I need I need to keep going. Then I painted this guy, which was a bit of a bummer. I really like a lot of things about it, like the pool balls on the left and the texture in the background, but I kept my head up. Then I painted this one, which what I was really trying to do is kind of push the boundary of how crazy I could get with the unrealistic aspects to where I could really tell still what it was. And this piece is not a part of the final series. It's a bit too crazy, but I still do like it as a painting and it was an important step in the process. So then I went to this, I made this piece and this was an aha moment. I love this piece still. It's not a part of the final series, but it just really works. I think the colors are really beautiful and I brought in a little bit more detail and it just really plays off of those looser parts so well. So I was very happy with this. Then I went back to school and I kept painting and things went a little bit downhill. So the piece on the left is the one that I just showed you a couple slides ago. My first red room and the one on the right is my second. So the left one was a bit too crazy and the one on the right was a bit too not crazy, which was a bummer because it took me a long time. I was really happy with the books and then it just fell flat in the end. And then I really struggled, started to struggle with the balance between this detail and not detail and the lack of control, the control and the messiness versus the details. And this was another one that just fell a bit flat for me. I like a lot of things about it, like the mirror, but just overall it doesn't work. I made another one that fell flat. And this was also really disappointing because it was, it took me so long to make those details, but it just didn't work in the end. And this was a hard time, a lot of failures, a lot of struggling. And I finally just had to tell myself to get over it and make a painting. And then finally, I had some success with this piece, which is a part of the final series, and it felt like such a successful moment. I finally was back in the zone where I wanted to be. And after this, I was really able to just kind of move uphill with everything. They still, they were still difficult to make, but my success rate became much higher. And this kind of was, I finally got over the hump, and then this was where I worked my way up. So on that note, I'd like to thank everyone for watching and listening, and I hope that you take a look at my pieces on the site or that you get to see them in person in the gallery.
Thanks.